My name is Andrew Orshak. I'm from Hilton Head, South Carolina. My undergraduate degree was in psychology and I am currently in the MS in Commerce program here at the University of Virginia. My motto is stay where your feet are. Um, it's kind of just a cue for me to always stay present in any of the challenges that life will present itself on and off the golf course and uh, I try and remember it. My favorite on-course snack is um, any kind of nuts really, peanuts, cashews, almonds. I mark my ball by just a simple line down the side here. Um, that's really about it, just to help me line up my putts. My golf superstitions are, I don't have many golf superstitions, but I always mark my putts with a heads up coin. I don't know why, I guess tails always fails or something. In one word, I would describe Coach Sargent as observant. He, um, he invests more in his players than I think many or any other coach does in college golf and he's observed things about me and my teammates that oftentimes I'm not even self-aware about and uh, he's not afraid to tell us and we're lucky to have someone who tells us what we need to hear not uh, not always what we want to hear my favorite coach sergeant saying is and uh, I think he picked it up from his coach in college coach Sykes but he told me once that Billy was trying but he never got there and uh, I wasn't sure what that meant for a while, so I asked him and he told me it was exactly how it sounded. Uh, in this game, you could try um, all you want and sometimes trying doesn't quite get you there. There are a lot of other factors at play and things you need to do. My first hole in one was in the practice round at the Palmetto, my second year in college here. Uh, I made it on the 16th hole. Um, I remember hitting it and a couple of the guys were calling for it to go in and once I hit the green saw it go in the bottom of the cup and everything it was an awesome experience. Oh and last week's uh, Jaren's 42 yard hole in one on a uh, par 3 course doesn't count. The best part of my game has historically been my driving. Uh, I usually am able to get it out there pretty far and pretty straight. My favorite hole at Birdwood is the par 3 17th. Um, it's a really long, challenging par 3 that demands a good shot with water up the left and oftentimes they put the pin over there on the left. But the course architect um, gave you a little bit of slope down the right side that you can use to kind of funnel the ball in with a long iron. And on top of all that, you have a nice, pretty uh, view of the Birdwood Manor. The best thing I binge watched during the pandemic was uh, the show New Girl. I didn't think I would like it going in, but I think I finished it in like a month. My hidden talent is I have learned how to play the harmonica in uh, recent months and have kind of plateaued a little bit, only knowing about two, maybe three songs, but I like to break through that post-graduation. My go-to song on the harmonica is Old Lang Syne, or also known as the Who's Fight song. My favorite class at UVA has been um, Business Management Strategy with Professor Ira Harris. I took it this, this past fall and I liked it so much that I'm taking an elective with him uh, in, starting in a couple weeks. My dream car is a 1970s Ford Bronco. Um, some of like the refurbished ones look really cool to me but they are really expensive. I'd love to play a round of golf with my three of my teammates about 40, 50 years from now. Hopefully we're all old and uh, happy, not too cranky at that point, and hopefully we've all kept pretty good touch with each other and we can just go out and play a relaxing round of golf together. My father got me into golf um, at a young age. We lived in uh, a house on pretty decent sized piece of land out in rural Pennsylvania and uh, he was a golfer himself and cut me down some of his old clubs. There was a big hill in our backyard and I'd always just try and imitate him and hit balls out of the out towards the barn. My first win was the South Carolina State Junior when I was 12 or 13 years old. I had just gotten into competitive golf maybe a year or two before that and um, I ended up playing in the final grouping with two guys that one went on to play at Georgia and the other at NC State and I still see them and we're, we're great friends to this day. 
The professional golfer I'm most impressed with is Dustin Johnson. I think that people often don't give him enough credit and um, basically I think he's a little bit more intelligent than people put on because over the course of his career he's been able to change a weakness in his wedge play to his strength and it's shown in winning the Masters last fall and becoming number one in the world. The best golf advice I've ever been given was from Dr. Rotella. He's a big uh, proponent of free will in the game of golf and while there are many things that you can't control in golf, there are certain things that you can and a lot of those are with your mental approach, whether that be positive self-talk or eternal optimism, both things that he preaches all the time. Um, I try to do daily and don't always do, but could do a better job of it. My favorite club is my driver. Um, I got this one, I guess this past fall. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, driving's historically been the best part of my game. And I think this is my favorite driver yet. Uh, usually cooperates.